Can you get permanent damage from using psychedelics? That is the question that so many people want to know. Alongside, can you go permanently insane? Can you get schizophrenia from them? But basically, people want to know if taking psychedelics can damage them. Today we're going to talk about HPPD, Hallucination Persisting Perception Disorder, and it's exactly what it sounds like. This is basically like real flashbacks. Flashbacks are a myth, but HPPD is a very real thing that happens. Now before I explain how to acquire HPPD, let's talk about what the effects are. Basically the most common thing you're going to see is visual snow. That means that when you look at things, it's kind of like a static grainy effect is being applied all the time. That's the number one effect. Following this, you're going to see things like after images, like you might see some tracers when things are moving, colors are going to be more vivid. Another common one is people seeing things in the corner of their eyes that aren't there. I just get that all the time when I'm sober. Maybe I have HPP. No, actually, I don't. A lot of people have asked me, Adam, do you have HPPD? Because as you guys know, I've had a lot of psychedelic experiences, and it seems to target only certain individuals, and it seems to be more prevalent on certain compounds. Now, the good news with HPPD is it's usually not permanent. I actually have not found a case where someone said it lasted forever, but it can last up to one, maybe even two years. In most instances, though, it might be gone after a few days, maybe a week, maybe a month. It's really hard to say, and it depends on all the factors that I'm going to touch on now. Now, there are certain compounds, and of course, certain dose ratios, that are going to induce HPPD more likely than others, but I would like to preface this by saying those who are predisposed to HPPD are the only ones who are going to get this. Not everybody gets this. The scary part is you don't know if you're going to get this until you trip. There's, as far as I know, no test, no questionnaire, no blood work to find out if you're predisposed to HPPD, not yet at least. But for those of you who would like to just err on the side of caution and avoid certain compounds or doses, let's get into it. Now, it seems to be more prevalent with things like NBOMEs, which everyone always says to avoid anyway. This is imposter LSD. So as long as you're testing your tabs with a good old Ehrlich reagent to make sure you've got an indole alkaloid, then you're less likely to get HPPD. Now, of course, the dose does make the poison here. Higher doses of N-bombs are going to induce HPPD more often. Now, that's not to say that LSD can't induce it. People, more often than not, will actually have HPPD from acid, over shrooms. At least that's what my research suggests. I could be wrong on this. This is just what I've learned. Shrooms and ayahuasca seem to be extremely, extremely unlikely to cause HPPD, even in uh, big doses from what I've seen. Of course, there are people who have gotten it from shrooms, so I don't want to say that it's impossible to get it from shrooms, but it seems to be more common with synthetic compounds. So things like 2CB, 2CI, 2CE, you know, phenethylamines. Uh, I don't know about mescaline per se, but definitely the mescaline analogs like allyl escaline, escaline, proscaline, methylescaline, all of those guys are probably going to induce it. Five hours later. <laughs> Now, there are quite actually thousands of psychedelics, so it would make no sense for me to sit here and list all of them off. But I will say that it's more likely to happen with bigger doses versus smaller doses. No shit, right? I mean, that's just kind of obvious. Of course, this helps my mission of harm reduction here because now if you're afraid of HPPD, you're more likely to take a modest dose and you're less likely to be risky. Now, another factor involved in acquiring HPPD is if you trip frequently. So... Yay, more points for harm reduction, don't trip too often. It seems to happen to people who have, say, I don't know, two or three psychedelic trips in a row, like say they're at a festival and they're trying to milk the most that they can out of it, while sacrificing their body in the process, they're more likely to end up with the dreaded visual snow. Now, I do want to point out for some people, they see it as a benefit. It's not necessarily a negative. I mean, permanently having, well, not permanently, but for a long period of time, having colors more vivid, that is actually one of the effects that I've gotten, but I've never in my head thought, oh, I have HPPD. I just saw it as like a really cool side effect from tripping as things were more vivid. The only effect that I've actually gotten is one that I haven't touched on yet, and that's lights at night. When I'm, say, driving at night, the lights feel so much brighter and more distracting, which is uh, definitely a dangerous thing. So look out for that one too, but that could just be now my perception of colors is heightened, so lights are obviously heightened. I don't know if that's necessarily a negative because it's not like it's overly distracting. It's just something that I've noticed. Now, those of you who have HPPD that are looking to cure it, well, I've got news for you. You just gotta wait. Time is the cure. Just give it time. And of course, steer clear of tripping. If you want to get rid of it, stop taking psychedelics. Obviously, even things like cannabis. I know it's hard for a lot of you, but cannabis 
has been known to exacerbate symptoms once you have it. In fact, any drug like MDMA can exacerbate symptoms, even things like speed, you know, amphetamine can exacerbate symptoms. Basically, if you have this and you want it to go away as fast as possible, just avoid drugs. Easier for some of us than others. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed this short little video on my good old friend flashback slash HPPD. If you have yourself dealt with it, let me know in the comments below. I want to hear your story. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Less than 50% of you watching are subscribed. It just takes a second. Just move the cursor or your finger and please hit that subscribe button. Do it for me. If you want to see uncut versions of these videos, head on over to our Patreon page, and you can also pick up a beautiful trip blanket at psychsubstance.shop. Anyway, I'm done with all my plugs. Leave a comment below to help the algorithm. Till next time, take care, guys, and I will see you all soon. Cheers.